The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to Game Shift. On tonight's show, we have Castlevania, Lord of Shadows, Red Dead Redemption 2, Sniper Elite 4. I brought some trailers and World of Tanks. Join us. So tonight I brought, the first game I brought is Castlevania Lords of Shadow. This is the newest um, backward compatible game. They came out with a couple after, but like this is one of my favorite Castlevania games. I've been waiting for it to come backward compatible because I never actually beat it. But they took the Castlevania franchise and put it into the 3D world. This was pretty much the first successful 3D Castlevania that you get. So you can see like you can uh, use your weapons in different ways. You get upgrade your weapon, stuff like that, uh, spells, casts, stuff like that. You have different attack methods. So it's uh, it's really good. It's it's definitely, I have this book you can open and close to get like, you know, see I'm upgrading here. So then I can upgrade to new attack moves and stuff like that. So it's it's got some RPG elements to it. Just, just slight, but you know, it's a good game. One of the better Castlevanias. <laughs> So you, you'll see uh, uh, after I get out of here, I have to upgrade my character. It makes you do it periodically, so I'm just going to get a couple of uh, upgrades. I'm just going through to see what exactly I want. Not the best video for a video game, but I figured people would like to see how to upgrade. You go through this little book. It also tells you what your um, missions are and what you have to do to get to the next level. So now you'll see some action here. The wolves are coming. A lot of blood, a lot of gore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Castlevania. M, M rating. I give it an 8. It holds up. The graphics are looking a little bit dated now, so, you know, but uh, as far as the game itself goes, yeah, you get these little target icons that when you hit the button at the right time, you do like a, a you'll do like a death move on the, on the bad guy there, so hmm. you can grab them. <laughs> Jeez, I haven't played one of these since, like, back on Nintendo 64. I think it was Castlevania um, Legacy of Shadow, or uh, Legacy of Darkness, I think. Yeah. Um, and that was really good. It was, you know, uh, different characters. Each character or certain characters would allow you to access certain parts of the world, whereas the other one wouldn't. Yeah. So it was kind of like multiple ways to beat the game, like a hard way and an easier way. And that game was kind of, like, it had, like, its, uh, you know, its scary points. Um, but this looks pretty good. It's like mild RPG, but mostly like an action. Three yeah, five. more... More action than anything, really. The RPG elements are in there. They're just very, you know, pretty limited. Mm. This looks pretty good, though. What was this originally on? Uh, Xbox uh, 360? Yep. Okay. Yep. So it was an Xbox 360 game. They put it, They just put it over. The load times are much faster now. You know, when, when you put something over from the 360, for some reason, when you put it on the Xbox One, sometimes it has slightly better graphics, and also it's a lot faster moving game because the processing power is better. Not bad. It looks pretty good. Is this you one of the... roll and attack and... <laughs> <laughs> is this like the first boss or something, this little rat wolf thing? Yep. Yeah, first first boss battle here, and then you know that's uh, you can roll. You, you know you can see I'm dodging his attacks and stuff. I'm doing horrible at it, but ah, you killed him. <laughs> not yet. Oh, <laughs> he's he's getting mad now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's regenerating just a little bit of health with a howl. Yeah, huh? I'll that's, get him. Yeah, it's oh. it's the game does get a lot harder. Look, I think I might look so you can do, do things like that. Now I beat him. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can use the environment and stuff like for certain things. You got to do the trigger effect, so it's like a uh, reaction type, you know, um, control there. So you have to hit the buttons in sequence at some points. It's pretty neat. He's got the classic Castlevania weapon too, the uh, cross with the chain in it. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, they carried that over. And. Uh... Yep. So you big. I forget his name now. Reinhardt, is it? 
Uh, this is a different. This oh, is a, a different. different um, yeah, one of the different uh, bloodlines. Oh. Yep. So now he's showing him this the amulet that he wears or whatever. I don't know what he does. Now he got to go into there and. He's telling you, go in there, that's where all the action is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good for an Xbox game. It looks very well updated. Yeah. See, it definitely has better graphics than it did on the 360. Everything looks a little cleaner. Mm. It's pretty gritty when it first came out. It killed this, killed my horse. I'm going to have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're alive. It's a big world to just be walking around. <laughs> Yeah, how is it a big? Uh, how long do you think it would take to complete the game? Um, I'm not sure. Probably like eight hours, maybe. Yeah, it's a pretty good size game. Yeah. And then, uh, so then you brought in Spelunky Two. Yeah, I brought in actually. Trailer. I brought in three trailers. Uh, <laughs> the first is Spelunky Two gameplay, I think, which um, they released this at the end of the summer, but I didn't notice it until recently. <laughs> so if you're like me and you haven't noticed it, well, here it is. Um, <laughs> This looks like it might be the equivalent of what, um, like the hell level, and it looks like they did a lot with uh, some liquid, um, liquid physics. Uh, as you saw, the lava would fall out um, when you broke the block underneath it. So that was kind of cool, um, and it might start on uh, some other planet, the moon even. <laughs> um, some of the stuff looks similar, but it looks like even on this first, uh, you know, a lot more going on, even from like you know one of the beginning levels. Um, they named the characters finally, if they haven't already. Uh, <laughs> But it looks it looks damn good. There's some other other gameplay out there. It looks like a demo of somebody playing was available, but uh, this was the longest uh, trailer I could find. Um, but uh, I'm really yeah, I think it's, it should be out. Oh, I don't know if they have a release date on this one. I might be thinking of um, Ori, which is out in 2019. This one I'm not sure, but uh, we'll check on that. Um, <laughs> although if you liked the first, <laughs> Rafi D. Sloth. Yeah. <laughs> What's the girl's name? Adrian Spelunky. I think Ava Spelunky. <laughs> Ava Spelunky. I think that's what it said. She's the daughter of uh, your first Spelunker that you had. <laughs> um, but if you like the first one, this one's probably going to be great. I know uh, Derek Hughes um, has been saying um, he wants this one to be like uh, a follow-up to a masterpiece. So I would, you know, I'm sure it will be it'll be very well done when it's finally released. Um, but it looks it looks damn good so far. Um, so soon, 2019. Oh yeah, tw I was right, 2019. It's <laughs> filling it in slow, so that could have been 2024. <laughs> Until the end. Um, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Yeah, this one you got me into when, on your show, actually. Uh, <laughs> this is the sequel. They released gameplay around the uh, same time, around the end of the summer. This will also be released in 2019, and it looks um, it looks pretty good. It looks like some of the monsters might have gotten a little scarier. <laughs> <laughs> I um, love this game. This is coming out on, and you were saying also that the Xbox Game Pass is coming to PC now. That's right. I don't know if it'll be the same, but um, uh, Microsoft plans to release a uh, monthly uh, subscription-based gaming um, service for a PC, so you'll pay monthly and get access to like hundreds of games similar to the Xbox. I'm not sure if they'll be the same games, but hopefully. Um, yeah, they hopefully. got a lot of good games on there now. This uh, this is coming straight to that. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, you I won't found even, out. <laughs> you won't even have to buy it if you have that. But you can just ten bucks a month still. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're buying it sorta. I'd probably buy it anyway, just like so I, I know have. this game is so good. <laughs> I, I was saying it's like a Disney um, Disney game. The art it does it is very very well done. It looks like they spent a lot of time on animations and you know. Um, on everything really it looks it looks like it's going to be very good uh so i'm looking forward to this one too for next year i know it's a little ways out there so maybe we'll get a little more footage as uh, it draws closer but uh see a scarier spider <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, owl yeah scarier uh, bird creatures <laughs> but um hopefully it'll maintain like a lot of what was great from the first one and just add like you know different levels depth maybe uh, who knows what they'll do but um, i'm sure it'll be great too the third trailer I brought, oh, uh, still going, I'm sorry. He's looking around. Yeah. And I'm sure it'll be as emotional as the first one. Mm. Get you right into it in the beginning, maybe. <laughs> What's up in there? Well, it looks like one of those soul, uh, uh, what was it, those power, I forget they call them in the first one, but maybe yeah. something like that. You gotta break them. Yeah. 
So that looks great for next year. Um, hopefully sooner, you know, hopefully in the, the first part than the latter, but we'll see. Um, this third trailer I brought was uh, Sunless Skies. It's the sequel to um, a lot of sequels today. Sunless Seas, which I think I had on the show maybe some months ago. This one, you take it takes place in, um, in space. It's supposed to be a much larger uh, map, like with four distinct areas, <laughs> and you pilot a steam train that can traverse galaxies. <laughs> so uh, it should be similar, very story-based. Um, you can upgrade your vessel, upgrade your crew, or, you know, all, you know, you can find crew around, I'm sure. Um, but uh, I, it looks pretty good. Uh, one, one of the um, one of the things I've heard uh, the most um, one of the most striking differences between this and and Sunless Sea is uh, the battle. I guess in Sunless Sea it was pretty like flat. You know, you boated around in a circle and tried to shoot at the other ship, and they could shoot at you. And it was pretty like, you know, it was pretty hard to miss. Whereas this one, it gives you a chance to strafe and move side to side a little bit. And um, you, ha you carry a little momentum with you, so it should make um, battle. Eat your crew. Yep, yeah, you can still eat your crew, <laughs> if you were wondering. Lose your mind, eat your crew. You can still Who eat your you crew. in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> so this one oh, will be released, man. I think, early 2019. So I'm, uh, and you can, also, you can play it right now as early access. Um, <laughs> so it's out there. I think it's like 25 bucks. And you Sniper Elite 4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this... Um, so the, yeah, this is uh, one of the best sniper games out, and uh, it's it's made by Rebellion, which uh, does you know some some it does a lot of games, but the memorable ones are mostly the sniper ones. And you'll see, um, you basically walk. Or you can use different weapons. You can sneak up behind people, kill them that way. But the the best part of the game is the sniper challenges and stuff like that, because you can uh, you get extra points for like you know headshots. Uh, heart shots, groin shots, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, and you see it in graphic slow motion detail. You'll see because I'm gonna sneak up on a guy here. I think in a second. Sometimes I go running down the hall and I don't realize where the guys are. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do like a bullet time. Sometimes if you get a really good shot, it goes in slow mo. You'll see because I, I'll I'll make it do that in a minute probably. You can get um, weapons and stuff off of them, different uh, apparel. You update your character. You can get different, you know, sniper rifles, stuff like that. Just a lot of stuff you can do in the game. I'm just looking for my goal right now. When I see some people, you'll see some action. <laughs> it, it, the maps are really big, so you have, to tr you have to travel around the map, and then they'll have, like, several different... Uh, uh, areas for you to go to and do different things and uh you know you got to try and do them all oh what the heck why didn't i take that shot oh because that guy's right there oh he, he killed gotcha. me i didn't expect that i didn't know i died in this one oh, <laughs> oh well. this looks like it took place uh well it's not a recent this took place in the past sometime this is yeah this is back i want to say world war one maybe but that's what i was thinking you're in France in this one. Oh, <laughs> good old France. So I'm gonna try a different approach, I guess. It lets you do that. Gonna hide behind some bushes. <laughs> <laughs> They're still seeing me. Oh, you got him though. Trying to get. I want to see. The slow motion effects are really cool. This is almost near the end of this level. Someone sees me, I think. It's red. This They're probably searching for me. But you can always go slow, hide. There, there he is. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, he's all right. <laughs> he's okay. Yeah. He'll get up. <laughs> Just a brief nap. It's M for Mature. I give this game... Oh, I didn't even put a, a rating on it, but I played this a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm going to say a 9. That's pretty good. Because the graphics are okay. The areas are big, but they could be way bigger, you know. Uh, but what it gives you is, like, the landscape. You can, If you can find a good, like, crow's nest, you could just snipe from there all day, and, you know, they might not see you. They can usually hear the shot, so they'll be looking in your direction, and if they see you, like, they'll start shooting at you, but... Mm -hmm. You can usually uh, take a lot of people out before they see you. So you can spend most of the level in just one spot. Yeah. So now I see that guy. 
<laughs> that is kind of cool. It automatically does that yeah. for you. Yeah, it just auto. It's like uh, it's almost like uh, in Fallout, you know. It's almost like uh, uh, the bullet time effect, or the uh, I forget what you call it in that. Yeah, it's not bad though. <laughs> Got a little uh, achievement there. <laughs> They've been making these games. What the first one came out a while ago. Yeah, now. yeah, but they're successful. They're they're really good games. They're fun. You yeah. just play through the mission. You're not gonna stop. <laughs> nice guy wicked far away there's no multiplayer right it's all single yeah um yeah i'm not sure if there's multiplayer i, I just jumped right into a single player because i was excited this is on game pass too oh look at that <laughs> 10 bucks a month <laughs> forgot to say that <laughs> 10 bucks a month a world of joy <laughs> yeah maybe on pc soon yeah i think it is on pc i'm not sure is it available now i didn't even check i heard about yeah. it like a few weeks ago i haven't followed up with it um, I wonder if, like, uh, Spelunky 2 is going to be cross-platform. I'm going to have to look that up and see. I know it's, uh, I, I believe they said it's going to be at least... I got off the island. Oh, that was off. my mission. <laughs> <laughs> <Little boat. laughs> Jump on the boat. <laughs> what no, were you yeah. saying? Um, something about Spelunky 2, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, I think it's that PC and PS4 is confirmed, but they might have changed. That was months ago I saw oh, that. okay. Um, this next video I brought in World of Tanks, which is totally free to play. Uh, you go create an account, download it, and um, you know you gotta. Uh, I think I gave the seven stars. The uh, oh, I'm sorry, seven phalanges. What am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> where am we? Oh uh, yeah, where am I? Um, it's from Wargaming Rated Team. They have a few other games like this out: World of Warships, um, World of Tanks, and World of Warplanes. Now I think too. They might have made some other games, but those are the big ones. Um, this game is it's pretty good. The graphics aren't bad. Um, uh, it's it's you know decently fun. I played it for a few hours here and there. Um, it's only multiplayer. You play on you know um, with teams of you know on a team of, of players against a, a team of another uh, totally you know um, human players. So it's tough because you're you're up against people that might have been playing this for a very long time. Um, the game is. Um, it is free, so there is a, a little bit of if you know. I wouldn't say it's totally pay to win. It's either you know you can pay a lot of money to get like a, a nicer tank or a tank in a top uh, in a higher tier than you would start with, um, or for better ammunition or something like that. But you could also put the time in to um, at least for the tank to build up to get similar tanks. But um, uh, generally, uh, I guess a lot of people buy ammunition from what I, which is a common complaint with the game. So that makes it you know you almost. To be competitive, you you almost need to to buy a few things. At least, like I said, I haven't put that much time into it. That's just a common complaint I've heard. So you know, you're, take it take it um, how you how you'd like it. I'm not very good at it. You're gonna watch me die pretty soon here. But uh, <laughs> um, I you know it's 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 mostly enjoyable. Uh, each tank uh, there's like five different classes, like a light tank, artillery. Um, tank destroyer, heavy tank, and medium tank, and they all have different purposes, so you have to learn like what you should be doing as, uh, uh, as the tank you choose to play. Um, the tank I have, I guess, is a light tank, but it has a really good gun on it, so um, it's got the same, same gun as like some, one of the early tank destroyers, so I don't think I've ever been playing this right until um, I found that out, and even then, I'm, you know, um, <laughs> I'm still terrible. <laughs> this is on PlayStation 4 and Xbox as well. Oh, is it? I didn't even yeah. know that. That's cool. So it's good. It's not just PC. Oh yeah, I just got blown up. But mine already. seemed when I played it, it seemed like I was like right up to the tank. You can change the views and stuff and zoom in and out. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, with uh, on on a uh, computer anyway, you use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and you can you know you can zoom into like um like your sniper mode where you get mostly um uh, like the turret, or you mm -hmm. can zoom all the way out and see your you and your surroundings. Um. It's uh, as you're aiming for someone, you have to wait a couple of seconds for like the the turret to kind of carry up to where you're pointing. So it's you know, but um, I think they did a pretty good job with it. Um, yeah, I enjoyed this game too. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's nice when you when you get like a hit, you're like, oh yeah, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's really hard getting into because, like I say, some of these people might have been playing for many many hours. Um, another common complaint is the matchmaking. They put you know, um, I guess there's there's little rhyme or reason, or people think there's little rhyme or reason to it. Hmm. But um, I don't know. I didn't. I haven't played enough to really to have an opinion on that yet. Um, 
So I would recommend it for a free game. It's it's pretty good. Uh, it takes a little bit of a learning curve to even get started. I wouldn't just buy it, download it, and play it without reading a little bit about what you're supposed to do. But um, I don't know. I enjoyed it. it took uh, maybe spend like 20 minutes to learn a little bit uh, at least <laughs> before you get right into it. But uh, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, and it always it t realistically it takes you like through higher ground hiding behind buildings, you know, using things like that to protect your tank. Mm. Uh, sneak up on the enemy is always a good thing to do, so there's a lot of st strategy to this game as well. Uh, yeah, I played it. I was amazed at, you know, how how well people could, like, uh, hide from me, get away from me, use trees, use buildings, use, like, ditches, like, you know, um, sneak up on you from behind you, like, where'd that guy just shoot me from, <laughs> you know? It's amazing. There's, so there's a lot going on in this game. Uh, they did a, they did do a really good job. The design's good. The the, the gameplay is awesome. So uh, I brought Red Red Dead Redemption. Oh yeah. Finally, Red Dead Redemption Two. Ah, oh, here it is. <clears throat> going for a little walk in the snow where you spend a you know, I think it's like two hours of the beginning of the game here in snow. <laughs> I haven't gotten out of the snow level yet. I haven't played this game too much. I'm enjoying it. I just uh, haven't haven't had the uh, enthusiasm to play it yet, I guess. Mm -hmm. I've been playing a lot of games. Fallout 76 came out. Uh, you know, I'm trying to play that a little bit, see how that is. That, that's that's a pretty good game as well. So we'll, we'll probably have that on next week's show. <laughs> You'll see, like, we're being... Uh, we, I, have to fall, I have to carry this guy back. <laughs> That's the original character from the original Red Dead Redemption, John. <laughs> John Marsden, right? So I'm uh, taking him with me. I gotta carry him. <laughs> Keep the wolves at bay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I'm not carrying him. The other guy's carrying him. I have to protect him from the wolves, yeah. So I was carrying him there for a little while. Mm. I got bored and was like, no, you take him, I'll shoot the wolves. <laughs> it looks pretty good yeah it is it's it's really good looking game it's awesome rockstar can't make a bad game yeah there is a lot of glitches in the game that you'll see but i haven't found any of them yet <laughs> and rockstar just says yeah there's fun glitches in the game <laughs> yeah glitches make it better you can float backwards and forwards and flip upside down and just float around she's i noticed they did a good job with the snow yeah <laughs> the way and the, and the horses and stuff. What's really cool is you can have different guns on your horse. You can go up to the saddlebag and take that gun out. Mm -hmm. it's, so it's pretty neat. You, so your, your horse is like your, your, your chest where you store everything. Not bad. And we're just trying to get this guy back to, uh, back to uh, the cabin where we are. We're, we're held up in a cabin because of all this snowstorm pretty bad storm he, <laughs> yeah, he snuck out he's a teenager in this one so he snuck out and you're like yeah we gotta go save him because he's he's an important person <laughs> oh, logically he shouldn't know that yet <laughs> <laughs> i can see why they kept you in the snow level for two hours like, they must have spent a lot of time on yeah the, uh, <laughs> creating the snow effects and stuff yeah. it is really good now we got more wolves attacking our horses uh oh but you can shoot right from the horse. Yeah, kind of it's cool. kind of hard to aim and ride your horse and do all this stuff together, but... Yeah. You'll That's... figure it out. It's pretty good. I missed. <laughs> Takes him a while to reload his gun, but hmm. back in those days... <laughs> yeah, there we go. I did all right there. <laughs> but yeah, the graphics are top-notch. You know, they can't, you can't get much better than that. Everything looks pretty realistic. I think I just hit that one with my horse. Like, he fell down in the snow and he was mad. Yeah, you ran him he over. Did, he didn't actually die. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back later to oh. haunt me. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I didn't get that far. Now we're just... Uh, we, we, if you could hear what they're saying, which the people at home probably can, he's like, we're going in the water to uh, avoid the wolves following our, our scent. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go, back in the snow. 
So off to the cabin. And this game is, is probably like one of those, you know, extremely open world. It could take, you know, you could play it for, it's got a, bunch, uh, a ton of replay value. Yeah, sure. they're saying to finish the main story, I think, was like 40 hours or something ridiculous like that. Wow. I'm yeah, trying. Time. <laughs> yeah, so here we are. We're back uh, dropping, dropping John off at the house. Mm-hmm. And eventually, what, the season changes, you get out of the snow and... Yeah, so, you know, we're, we're just trying to survive right now. And you don't know what's happened before this yet, but you guys were walking in the snow. You're hiding from people. You're, you know, checking out other houses around. You're trying to find shelter. Mm -hmm. We found shelter here, and then that's where we held up. So, <laughs> call it the hideout. Hmm. We got several fires around there so you can keep warm, stuff like that. You, you just feel cold watching the snow. <laughs> I know. It's such a cold game. Yeah, we might be getting snow sometime over where we are. Yeah. So it is that time of year. Tonight, Yeah. You said, probably. Yeah, right. Hopefully not this bad. <laughs> you All these people you could talk to, you could do so much, so much in this game, but I'm only touch on the surface right there just one mission that was just one mission and that was only half of it yeah because I mean, you go out you find him you know he's yelling for something and you go you find out what he's yelling about you have to help him then you pull him back then you carry him out of there because he can't walk so good hmm. but uh yeah a lot of a lot of things happen in that game so fallout 76 next week maybe some uh hope hopefully some spyro Spyro, nice. <laughs> yeah, you've been talking about that for a while. Reignited, redone for the new consoles. Looks good. Getting good reviews. So that oh. was before the uh, all the toys. Oh, yeah. Skylanders and stuff like that was all based off of Spyro. Hmm, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, ah. next, so yeah. What are you going to have next week? What I'm definitely going to do Viscera Cleanup Detail, which is really good. Uh, Two weeks. Surprise. Two weeks or whatever. <laughs> and uh, some other game. I don't know. All uh, right. We'll find something, though. All right. So that's our show for... This week, uh, we'll catch you in two weeks. Catchphrase. Awesome. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.